Can you bring the car around, please? Thank you. Hello friends, it is Christine and I am here today bringing you a dream home tour, a forever home tour. This is a little sneak peek behind me, the kitchen, and I'm going to give you a little bit more detail as we go through this video. And you're probably wondering, what the heck? You said you weren't moving, Christine. And you're right. This is actually my mom's forever home tour. She has been living here for the past about five weeks or so. A lot of unpacking, a lot of figuring out where things go. Clearly there's a grandfather clock, <laughs> but we're gonna go through, show you a couple of things that she picked out. If there are links or paint colors or things like that for anything, I will leave those down in the description box for you in case you are interested in maybe remodeling your house or if you like something that you see. And someone's calling me, so I'm gonna go answer the phone and I'll be right back. Hey mom, this is your house. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what is your favorite part? The things that I enjoy the most are the kitchen and my bathroom. Oh. The master bath. Can, can they get a little sneak peekaroo? Absolutely. Into the bathroom? Yes, I will allow it to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tell me, uh, for those that maybe don't know, you live maybe about five miles away from me. Why did you choose this location as a place to live? Well, I think most of your viewers know that my husband passed away um, about a year and a half ago, and he and I talked about what I would do, where I would live when he was gone. Probably the thing that's the most important to me is family. And so I wanted to be near family. And I only wanted to move one time. And also it's very similar to where I was living before. So I get, those are the main reasons. I love it, I love it. So since the kitchen's your favorite, why don't we do a little, a little run around the kitchen? Absolutely. My mom, like myself, uh, loves to cook. She has a massive island. I don't know how big this is. In fact, if I lay on the island, <laughs> I'm five foot six. <laughs> it is a six foot island. Yeah? Almost seven feet. Six, oh. six feet and nine and a half inches. Awesome. We picked out this really pretty granite. Fun fact about her appliances is she actually bought these 10 years ago when she was planning on building her house in Laramie, Wyoming. This stove, this range hood, this refrigerator <laughs> have been in boxes for 10 years. Well, more like eight. More like eight. Woman. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> I digress. The problem with uh, them being in a box for 10 years yes. is that doesn't work. Right. We're getting a, a new one of those. Huh, imagine that. Yeah. Sitting, sitting in storage for a long time yeah. doesn't, they don't always work all, all hey, the time. Hey, well I'm glad it was only one thing. Yeah, only the, only the one thing. Yes. From the kitchen looking into the other direction, we have the dining area and the living area. I'll walk over there in just a minute, but we're just gonna do a little quick look-see. We have the drawer microwave. I tried to talk her out of it. No go. <laughs> she decided she had to have it. I thought this was a Kenmore. No? What is no, this? No, a DCS. This is a DCS. It was on sale. It was on sale. Of course it was. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> her husband, Craig, was probably more frugal than me. Yes, very close. <laughs> it was a tight race. Yes. He probably would have won. Her hood is a Kenmore and her backsplash tile is a little similar to mine. Super rustic on the edges. What I love is she has these old pottery pieces that she has had forever. This was in my house when I was a teenager. I remember this just hanging out. Why is that so big? I really like antique old kitchen things and I found that at an antique shop. And it's maple. It's a maple. And it's actually... <laughs> Thorpe. Thorpe rolling pen. Company. Like this is yeah. this is like the biggest pie I've ever <laughs> seen. This is twice the size of a regular rolling pin. <laughs> and check this out. I love this. So she has antique butter churns. What are those brown crocs with the blue? What are those oh, called? Just blue ring pottery. Blue ring pottery that she's collected for a long time. And a couple of other there are lights up there. Yep. There we go. You know, the antique butter churns and old pottery dishes. I think those are super cool. You know what? I was trying to figure out why I like the blue ring pottery so much. And I think this is why. Let me bring you over here. Okay. I don't think you know about this. This was in my mom's kitchen. I grew up with this. Okay. And she had it right by the stove. And that's where she put all her baking grease in it. <laughs> of course she did. And sat there. And, and then she asked my dad to make this lid for it. So, so this is your mom's and grandpa yeah. made this. Right. I love it. Right. I love so it. I think that's why I like it so much. Mom, there's no baking grease in there. No. <laughs> 
I remember this one. This one's been around for forever. Yeah. yeah. I love that one. And we have to talk about the piece de resistance. Oh, yes. Is the pantry door. Antique door from an antique shop, and the builder painted it to match the sunroom paint color and put like a black glaze on it. Love it. Yeah. yeah. Obsessed. I love it. Moving into the butler's pantry now, since this video is kind of all about my mom and Mother's Day is coming up really quickly, I wanted to give you an awesome gift option for this Mother's Day or maybe for your grandmother or aunt or uncle or stepmom or mother-in-law or the women in your life. And that is to give them the gift of stories. Thank you to StoryWorth for sponsoring today's video and let me tell you all about this amazing product. StoryWorth is an online service that can help your mom, grandmother, mother-in-law, and basically every mother figure in your life share their stories with thought-provoking questions about their memories and personal thoughts. This last year has been really interesting for me. My mom's been able to live with me for four months while her house was being finished and now she is really close. But we were able to create this new deeper relationship with my kids, grandma with the grandkids. And I think it's really important that all the moms feel very appreciated this Mother's Day. So I personally would like to continue my kids and myself learning about my mom's life. Every week, StoryWorth will email your mom a different story prompt. Questions you probably never thought to ask, like what's some of the best advice your mother ever gave you? Or if you could choose any talent to have, what would it be? After one year, StoryWorth compiles all of your mom's stories, including pictures, into a gorgeous keepsake book that is shipped for free. I would recommend giving your mom the most meaningful gift this Mother's Day with StoryWorth. You can get started right away without the need for shipping, plus $10 off by going to storyworth.com slash FFM. That will be the first link in the description box. I think StoryWorth is the best way to honor your mom this Mother's Day because it's a heartfelt, sentimental gift the whole family can cherish together forever. One more time, you can go to storyworth.com slash FFM to get $10 off first link in the doobly-doo and no shipping costs, nothing like that. And if you even wait until the last minute, you can do it the day of and they'll get that email that first day of Mother's Day. I think it's an awesome gift. I think you will too. And let's get back to the tour. In the butler's pantry, it's essentially an extension off the kitchen and we have a full functioning sink here, a ton of storage, and my mom insisted on a beverage cooler. They might push it as a wine cooler, but we typically do Diet Coke and water. <laughs> Coming back in here into the kitchen, the sunroom is not done, but you can kind of see a little peek over there. Moving over, we have the breakfast table, which Craig picked up on deep, deep discount because that's how he does. <laughs> <laughs> Moving over into the living area, which isn't done yet, but I did want to point out the beautiful couch that my mom had made and this rug. I think this rug is one of my favorite ones in the entire house. It is from Grandin Road, and I'll link it down below. It's a really gorgeous rug. And these these three rockers are from my grandparents' house. Like these rockers are one of the most iconic things that I remember about my grandparents' house. Standing in my mom's bedroom, she doesn't really have any furniture yet, so we're gonna skip that. But mom, this barn door, there are three in the entire house. I would love for you to tell them where this originated from and, and all of that, because I think the story is awesome. We were building the house and I thought about where I wanted things and I thought, oh, it'd be really cool to have some barn doors. And then I remembered that my mother grew up on a rice farm in Louisiana and that there was an old farm there. I thought, hey, maybe we can use that wood. So my brother helped me go out there and we, there was some wood. We harvested it or salvaged it. And then my brother-in-law was nice enough to work with me and we made three barn doors out of the re reclaimed wood from the barn and it's cypress. And then we left some pieces that, you know, had the, or weathered, which I love. Here's some of the red paint that was on the barn. And what's really cool is that barn has now, a hurricane came through and blew it over. And so I'm so grateful that we were able to get that wood before that happened because there, you can't get any more wood from it. Okay, going from the bedroom into the master closet and bath. Mom, I'll skip the closet. Yes, please. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> But we're going into the master bath. There's just so many things to look at. I don't even know where to start. Tile. We just picked this up at a tile shop and I think it's gorgeous. It's such a statement piece. And if you go over here, we have the double vanity because you always have to have a double vanity in the bath. I love these mirrors. Mom, can you tilt it? Yeah, they tilt down. So you can like move it up. You can move it down. It can be a full length mirror. You could do like selfie. Hey. <laughs> 
Put me on Instagram. Oh, clearly I'm not very good at that, but mom, you found these awesome baskets for storage on the bottom. So where'd mm -hmm. you find these black baskets? They were on Amazon and I'll find it for you and you can link it. I would, I kind of want some. They have different colors and sizes. Yeah, I love those. Yeah. And then we have the shower. We call it Mr. Steamy <laughs> because it's a steam shower, but look how pretty these tiles are. Is this your temperature gauge for the steam? Yes, yes. She has these contrast tiles, which I think are beautiful with the big gray subway tiles. Hugo did all of the tile work in her house. Same guy that did my kitchen backsplash. He is amazing. On the other side from the vanity, we have the soaking tub and it's enormous. Look at that. Have you taken a nap in here, mom? No. No, really? Not yet but I have been in that position many times. <laughs> <laughs> I just like how, how well I fit. Yeah. I love this. Yeah, it, it works. It looks like a phone. However, it is oh, not a phone. So, <laughs> can you bring the car around, please? Thank you. Right? Don't you kind of want to do that? No, never wanted to do that. <laughs> What's a butler's name? James. Oh, James? Yeah. Bring the car around. <laughs> these are nice. Do you get these on Amazon too? Pottery Barn. Pottery and barn. then that came from another, I think it's Signature Hardware or something like okay. that. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. We have to talk about the water closet. Is, okay. that, is that what we're going to call it? Yes. Yeah, so we have this running uh, argument about having <laughs> natural light and the water closet. I have nothing against natural light. No, I know you don't. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks that because I'm okay with like the toilet being in its own room, with that, no light, with, with no window. With no window that like, I don't like windows or something. That would be false. <laughs> I just, I like the toilet being separate from the rest of the bathroom. I, I That's what I'm that. saying. So we have this beautiful toilet and oh wait, what's this? What is it? What is it? It's a place to wash your socks. Yeah, absolutely. We discussed this thoroughly. <laughs> Did do you remember? Yeah. And I was like, mom, why? I, want, I need a place to wash my socks. <laughs> what Craig used to say about a bidet. He was in France for a couple of years. He lived in France. And he said they used it to wash their socks. <laughs> really nice. All I'll say is most Americans don't know how to use a bidet because we're not used to them, but you can go online and there's some nice websites. Are there YouTube tutorials on how to I don't know. There's use a bidet? Some, like the, one of the websites that I found that I think is pretty helpful is tushy.com. <laughs> All right then. So, seriously. What's this? Why do you have exercise equipment in here? I just thought it would be a good place to hang it for now. What are you doing in this bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never tell. Okay. <laughs> I'm down in the basement and my mom created the basement as mostly a sewing room and a place for guests to feel at home. She designed the house so that if she ever wasn't able to do stairs again, she could live on the main floor and not have to worry about the other floors. But she has a lot of siblings, grandkids, things like that, and she wanted them to be able to have a place to go. So in addition to the bedrooms and living area in the basement, she built this awesome kitchenette laundry room downstairs. So we have stacking, Bosch washer and dryer. This is an actual refrigerator, microwave, storage and full functioning sink for anyone that needs to kind of be down here, take care of their own stuff and not have to come up and bother her. Also, I'm obsessed with this granite. Yes. I think it was called Copenhagen. Patagonia. No, Patagonia. This granite is called Patagonia. This is my favorite, my favorite section. And this is a little nod to my mom's husband, Craig, as he was a huge, well, he was a geologist. Right, petrophysicist. He was a petrophysicist. But he trained as a geologist. Yes, correct. And so he had a deep love of like interesting rocks and stuff. So that's a little nod to Craig right there. Dining room is still being worked on, but I did want to show you all of my grandmother's lamps, oil lamps, are all displayed on the buffet. <laughs> We're going up into the bonus area above the garage. And this was a suggestion that I made when we were looking at house plans because I was like, oh, we had a bonus room above the garage. Kids can run around. You don't hear them because they're banging on the garage ceiling and not like your kitchen ceiling. So we went ahead and did it. And of course, when I say we, I mean my mom. Up here, we have a bedroom, a bathroom, and another living area. The living area is kind of chaotic because number one, there's nothing up here but books. The bookshelf is full <laughs> and there's all of the to sell. That pile, <laughs> that pile, that's the to sell pile. And other than that, there's nothing else in this room. Like we haven't we're just not there. I haven't decorated it. No space plans, no nada. So let's check out the bedroom and the bathroom. This is the guest room upstairs. I think it's one of my favorite rooms. 
I love the slopey ceiling. Mom has had this bed forever. This was Craig's? Yeah. I think it's Hooker Furniture, is that yes, right? Yes, I believe so. Rug comes from Target. It's a fairly small room. I think it's this is a full bed. And she's had this bedding forever. I remember this from a long time ago. Oh, the, the this. No, I don't think I've had that that long. Really? Yeah. It looks so familiar to me. Yeah. This dresser you've had forever. This is a yeah, Thomasville that's been around. On. It's been around for 20 years. I think it's a really nice guest room, lovely place to get away. How's the view up here? Oh, backyard, which has nothing in it yet. Okay. Coming out of this room and moving into the upstairs bathroom, I'm obsessed with this sink. Like, obsessed. It's concrete, right? Yes. Concrete, and then yeah. what's. I think marble. Concrete and marble, I love it. Oh, hey guys, what's up? It's just your standard bathroom, like nothing fancy, but everything in here is super nice. I remember mom being excited that these tiles were on sale, okay? <laughs> a fun shower with a slanted ceiling. Hugo killing it once again with the tile work in here. We have gray, gray square, and a pretty big, pretty big subway. How big are these, like four by 12? Yeah, I think that's about right. Actually, they were going to be bigger, and then I looked at an inspiration picture online, and I just didn't like the huge ones. Mm -hmm. So we made them smaller, and I'm really glad we did. They but, almost look like full floor tile, they're so big. Yeah, they're, right. yeah, they would look like that. Yes. They're huge. Yes. I haven't stayed here yet. <laughs> You're welcome to. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back down and I'm gonna show you, I think probably my favorite bathroom in the entire house. You're gonna love it. This is the powder room off of the mud room. So just like for any guests or whatever. First, are you dying with these tiles? These little black and white flower hex tiles. You, do you see the flowers, mom? What do you see when you look at it? <gasps> I've never seen the flowers. Now you see them, don't I you? I see them. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and mom got these cool uh, toilets with the, what do you call that? With the sides that are straight down so they're super easy oh, to clean. Um, of course we have the, what do you call that? Shiplap or whatever. Yes, shiplap. We obviously have a window for natural light because that's important to mom. Over here, I love the lights. Where'd you get the lights? That was Lowe's or Home Depot. Love it. This. This mirror also tilts, so like if you're sitting down and you wanna look at yourself, you could, right? But look at this sink. This is a cast iron sink, so it weighs like 400 pounds, coated in porcelain with this cool faucet, like old fashioned faucet, right? That comes right out of the sink. How awesome is this? I get a lot of joy from this sink. I don't know why, it's just very exciting to me. Did I mention that we flipped the door so it swings out? Yeah. It originally went in and mm -hmm. it just made the bathroom feel super, yeah, super small. Yeah. We had the, we, why do I keep saying we? I didn't do it, you did it. She had them flip the door so it comes out and I think it's way better this yeah. way. That's super important. Um, when you're building a house or moving into a new house is to check out all the doors and while you can get them flipped. Love it. Because I kept thinking, do I really want to leave it going in? And I finally said, no, that's horrible. Right. So super glad we flipped it. Good, good. Yeah. We're back in the kitchen and those are, I would say the completed. Yes. Items in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, there's more stuff here, but you know, privacy for mom. They're not even done yet. I don't know that you would want to see like piles of boxes. No, I wouldn't. But, yeah. <laughs> it's not super, super fun. Mom, you've been living in the house for five to six weeks. How's it feeling? It's great. It was weird at first because I've been living with you and I got used to the whole family vibe, lots of people around, the kids. So now I'm- You mean, ah, that vibe? No, no, no. I mean, it was really fun. Your family's lots of fun and the kids are great. So when I first moved Stop. in- Stop, What? Oh, and you're wonderful too. Okay, good. <laughs> so when I first moved in, it was very strange, very quiet. I'm good now. Did but you... I still want to come over and steal one of the kids or Speedy or something. <laughs> Did you feel like Kevin in Home Alone when you realized you were alone? Sort of. Ah! The, ah, the big thing of ice cream. <laughs> I can watch whatever I want. Yeah. Sleep in the big bed. Yes, yeah. yes. So now that they've seen your kitchen, we could probably do kitchen cooking videos in your kitchen. Sure, as long as you clean up after yourself. <laughs> well, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to check out StoryWorth if you are looking for an awesome Mother's Day gift. I think it's a really unique, kind of awesome gift idea. And with my link down below, you get $10 off at storyworth.com slash FFM. That's all you gotta do. So thanks mom for letting us invade your privacy. Thank you. I mean, you're welcome and I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.